Future of Texas, the bullet train connecting Houston to Dallas could finally become a reality. It's scheduled to break ground next year. The railroad is waiting on final federal approval. So we sent our Jason Whiteley to Tokyo, Japan to see the bullet train network there and find out how that technology would work here. Few places on this planet treasure tradition I don't know, I don't know. as much as technology, like Tokyo. Actually, the trains are meant to be amazing, uh, much better than the airports. And nothing is more crucial to Japan's psyche in that sense than the bullet train. For airliners, you have all the extra added costs, paying for luggage, uh, but with the Shinkansen, you know, no one's gonna check how much your luggage weighs or anything like that. So we came to Japan to see it for ourselves, to take a trip on the high-speed train that Texas is supposed to get. We are start of the construction uh, next year. Are you pretty confident this is going to happen? Uh, we are very, you know, pleased to support this project as well, yeah. Masaru Yosano flies to Texas once a month. He's general manager for Central Japan Railway, the company guiding the Shinkansen between Dallas and Houston. That's the Japanese word for bullet train. A lot of people in Texas like to drive their cars mm. and they like to fly on airplanes. Yes, I know. What would you tell them about the Shinkansen? In Japan, it takes just about five or ten minutes after we arrive at the station to get on the train. So it is very easy to check in and to travel. He's right about that. We walked up and bought tickets 15 minutes before departure. And the price doesn't spike for last minute purchases. We paid about $43 for a 60-mile trip. So what's it like to be on a bullet train? This is an economy car. All of them, though, have high ceilings, wide aisles, and huge windows. These seats in the economy size, these are more like airline seats, but what's different is all the leg room. In fact, the entire cabin is much roomier than an airliner. And onboard restrooms here, substantially larger as well. This might look most like what Texas will get. It's a modified bullet train called the N700S. It's lighter and it's more efficient. But perhaps the biggest difference is it's shorter. It's eight cars instead of 16. And this is what 177 miles an hour feels like. The landscape is less of a blur than you'd imagine. And we easily balanced a bottle of water here on an armrest. But one question persists. Is Texas really ready for high-speed rail? What would you tell Texans who might be skeptical about this? Don't be. You sound confident. I think it's a, I think it's a great idea. I think uh, it's a long time coming. That's William Swinton. He runs international business studies at Temple University in Tokyo. One reason the bullet train is so successful in Japan, riders can easily connect to subways from it. Dallas and Houston just don't have that same infrastructure. Texas doesn't have a vast rail network to help out these bullet trains. Will it work? So what happens to that last mile is, uh, again, an opportunity for taxi companies, for Ubers, for um, uh, hotels to build and, and businesses within walking distance of the terminus uh, to develop themselves. The last mile can be lucrative. Not much was around when Tokyo's Shinagawa train station was built in the 1990s. But within a decade, skyscrapers had risen around it. Japanese bullet trains are safer as well. Inspectors check bullet trains every six weeks. And get this, there's never been a collision, a derailment, or even a single death since it started in 1964. We already import a lot from the Japanese, but America has never bought a bullet train before. Texas is now on track, though, to transform transportation in this country, perhaps starting a new tradition of travel. Jason Whiteley, Channel 8 News. Now, we brought back more than we could fit into that story. So go inside the cockpit of a bullet train and see the high security control room that monitors 360 bullet trains in Japan. It's all inside this story at WFAA.com. A scooter.